Okay, so welcome to math story, yeah? and let's solve this problem. So what is the equation of the normal line to the curve at point 0, 01? So first, we need to find the slope of the line using the equation of the curve. So from this equation of the curve, we need to find the first derivative. So using the implicit differentiation, so we just need to find the derivative for every term. So for the derivative of 2x to the power 3, so multiply this exponent to this numerical coefficient. So 3 times 2, that's 6. Then x minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 2. Then plus the derivative of 2y to the power 3. So multiply this 3 times 2. This one is 6y, then minus 1 for the exponent, that's to the power 2, then times the derivative of y, that's y prime. Then minus, so we just need to bring down this uh, numerical coefficient, then times the derivative of xy, so using the product rule, the derivative of xy, that's x y prime plus y then equals the derivative of a constant this one is zero then simplify so we have 6x squared plus 6y squared times y prime then distribute that's negative 9 xy prime distribute that's negative 9y, then equal 0. Then to solve for y prime, so we need to group all terms with y prime on the left side and terms without y prime transpose to the right side. So we need to transpose this negative 9y to the right side and this positive 6x squared to the right side. So we have now 6y squared times y prime. Then minus 9x, then y prime equals, so this negative 9y becomes positive 9y. Then this positive 6x squared becomes negative 6x squared. Then to solve for y prime, so we need to factor out this y prime. So put this y prime outside times since we put y prime outside so the remaining on this term that's 6y squared then minus the remaining on this term that's 9x then equals 9y minus 6x squared then to solve for y prime so we need to divide both sides by 6y squared minus 9x then 6y squared minus 9x then cancel so therefore y prime is equal to this 9 and 6 divisible by 3 so we need to reduce so this 9 divided by 3 this one is 3y minus 6 divided by 3 that's 2x squared then over 6 divided by 3, 2y squared, then minus 9 divided by 3, that's 3x. Then to find now the slope, since y prime is equal to the slope, so to find the slope, so we just need to substitute the value of x and y from the given point. So this one is x and this one is y. So x is equal to 0 and y is equal to positive 1. So from this uh, equation, so to find the slope, so we have now 3 times y and y is equal to 1, then minus 2 times x squared and x is equal to 0, then to the power 2, then over. 2y squared, so 2 times y, y is equal to 1 to the power 2, minus 3x, and x is equal to 0. 
Then simplify to solve for the slope. So this 3 times 1, that's equal to 3. And this 2 times 0, this 1 is 0. Then over, 2 times 1 to the power 2, this 1 is 2. And 3 times 0, that's equal to 0. Since the first derivative is the slope of a tangent line, which is equal to 3 over 2, but in the problem, we're looking for the equation of the normal line and to find the slope of the normal line since the slope of the normal line is perpendicular to the slope of the tangent line and since the slope of the tangent line is 3 over 2, so therefore, to find the slope of a normal line, so we just need to find the reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So since the slope of the tangent line is 3 over 2, so therefore the reciprocal, that's 2 over 3. And for the sign, so the opposite sign, since this one is positive, so therefore the slope of a normal line is negative. So the slope of a normal line is negative 2 over 3. So this is the slope we're going to use to find the equation of the normal line. Then to find now the equation of the normal line using the point slope formula that y minus y sub 1 equals the slope times x minus x sub 1. Then from the given point, so this one is x sub 1 and this one is y sub 1. So substitute now the values. So we have now y minus y sub 1 is 1 then equals the slope of a normal line that's negative 2 over 3 times x minus x sub 1. So x sub 1 is equal to 0. Then we have now y minus 1 then equals so distribute this one is negative 2 over 3 times x and this one is 0. Then to solve for y, so we need to transpose this negative 1 to the right side. So we have y equals negative 2 over 3 times x. So this negative 1 becomes positive 1. So this is now the equation of the normal line.